Welcome back, basketball fans. Welcome back. So the KPA Dockers are the 2023 KBF champions. Uh, they did uh, what they were supposed to do in Game 4 and close out the series. And they've beat the Equity Dumas 3-1, KPA in 4. For following uh, yesterday's performance by the KPA Dockers, the women's team, they were crowned champions yesterday, rightfully so. KPA, the men's team, decided just to handle business and just close it out. And this just adds on to the win percentage I was talking about in a previous video I've made. But, man, this has been a hell of a series. Great performance by Equity, despite the loss. Yesterday, they just got buzzed out in Game 3. They didn't have a good performance. They just blown out of the gym. But in this game, they actually showed us some fight. And they were able to at least keep the game close. And it was decided by a 10-point spread. And Eugene Adair won the MVP award. So, overall great performance in there. The back-to-back -back champions, Road to BAL, has already kicked off. And they'll be representing the 2023, 2024 Road to BAL just runs through KPA. I mean, KBF just runs through KPA. And this is just something that is awesome. Adding on to the win percentage, Coach Juku doing his thing in there. Another historic feat, as not only did the men's team and women's team win this year, they won last year. So it's been back-to-back -back double dominance for back-to-back -back seasons. And they just, KP just cut above. They just are cut above everybody. And I don't think anyone can be able to match up against them as we speak. But man, this is just a freestyle video. I'm not even scripting anything. I just want to just get this out of you, you know, out of the way. I just get into the details of the game in a, ne in the, in a later video I'm going to make. But man, I just watched this uh, live. Right now, I'm not even in the country. Um, Right now I'm in Ghana and I'm just watching this game, just keeping up with things on YouTube. But I'll be coming back uh, this coming week before before the next week ends. This coming week I will be here in Nair I'll be there in Nairobi and uh, just to take it all in. But it's just been an awesome season. Road to BL just runs through KPA, just like I mentioned. And KPA now have a second chance to be able to improve on what they are trying to build upon last year remember last year when they made the road to BAL didn't have a good showing uh, out of five games only won one they had a one and four record they won they won one game the first game in a blowout then they lost four straight so how will this year pan out it will just be highly dependent on how uh, KP is set up considering the fact that they basically just have a similar team from last season so I'm just going to be waiting on that and also on the women's side, um, Zone 5, just right around the corner, just after the after this competition. And honestly, KPA have just run through this whole postseason, especially the women's team. They are yet to take a loss, not only winning every series in a sweep, but they just went like uh, full-on domination mode with their recent acquisitions. And KPA... Okay, they dropped some few. They dropped uh, two games, but they were able to get back in there. So out of the whole play, postseason, they lost two. But the team that I feel for a lot is the Kuchidumas. Coming off a season where they gutted their whole roster after losing to KPA, so they lost to KPA last season in an embarrassing fashion. Of okay, it was a bit controversial the way things ended, but when you look at how those teams um, matched up against each other, you could see. Both teams were just heavyweight teams at the time, and both teams had the pieces to pull it off. But KPA came back down 0-2 from an 0-2 deficit in one last year's postseason, despite the controversy surrounding it. I remember I even covered it on this channel. I remember I was talking about it. But when you look at this season, the, when the season just kicked off, you could see the signings that the Equity Dumas had. You saw the signings that KPA had. And you could see what KPA and Equity are trying to build. And for some reason, I felt like there was a collision course between those two teams because Olinzi, I didn't see them look threatening at all this season. Okay, they had their moments, but I didn't think that they had, they had anything threatening to um, pose, especially in the playoffs. 
especially how the finals ended they just didn't have enough in there but if you look at the way um the equity dumas were setting up they got so many people in there they got so many pieces in there and they were looking they were looking to get to that position where they could win the championship and they went as far as the finals it was a great good improvement from blowing a 2-0 lead in the second round so they made the finals but KP just proved too much i feel like they used KP just used the experience that they've racked up through um through like la- the better part of this season and last year especially when they were road to ball they met a lot of teams that are challenging and they were able to like use that and incorporate that into their game and when you look at the equity dumas they just didn't have like that exposure and i feel like them like you know having the first season together the coach didn't know what lineups to put in there it was just you know your turn my turn basketball at some point and you didn't know who's supposed to you know guide that team through okay they have a lot of experience in there he had you know James Mwangi in there he had uh Victor Boisera in there he had a lot of people there who know how to match up against you know anything but having the coach that has the ability to use, use and utilize those pieces I just feel in the technical bench I'm not you know saying that the coach didn't know how to do his job but I feel like the technical bench didn't know how to use those pieces well in that game and this is the reason why they lost because in the regular season they were able to steal a game at the Makande Gymnasium from KPA a place where KPA have the highest win percentage I keep mentioning this uh fact I mean <laughs> it's, it's just it's just evident like KPA just have like um that they they just so dominant especially when they playing at their their home floor and even the thunder series i just saw the thunder the thunder collapse in game 3 the same way equity collapsed in game 3 and in the, this series over in four games so it, it it is what it is man i mean i just saw this i just saw that situation and um quite frankly i just knew it was game over and especially when i saw how game 3 panned out I didn't think that KP wanted to let they could do much still on game and force a game 5 they just want to get them out of the way quickly. Okay, game 4 started off a bit slow. I saw a situation where Equity were doing that. Okay, there was some bit of controversy out there with the refs, but uh KP with the experience able to keep stay put and play some good solid defense and they won by 10 points. So and they are crowned as champions Eugene Adera he backed that MVP award i mean this man deserved it he came in in the off season he was a very key signing something that they needed especially after the exit of Ken Washira and he just gave that you know spark at the backcourt especially this backcourt made Lennox who is actually one of the best point guards in the in the country right now uh, i mean it, it was just awesome and also a side note yes are you was a Strathmore you say you won that chip i mean i mean there's so much that happened this weekend both in both venues the Nyawa Stadium and the KPA Makanda Gymnasium but KPA just i just feel like they carried the day and they just went back to back and it just just awesome phenomenal and i'm just waiting to see what's next because as as far as you know KPA is concerned i feel like they are cut above everyone both the men's and women's teams so i'm just waiting to see their performance of KPA in zone 5 now they have another shot at it a shot at the big time basketball stages where they can match up in zone 5 the women's team and also the africa women's cup if they're able to like play well in zone 5 and at least win zone 5 and at least go deep in the africa women's cup now saying they're going to win it all but at least go deep it can be something that is very uh, encouraging and also on the men's side if the men's side are able to make at least top 3 and at least top 4 in you know the road to ball i mean it can be actually pretty interesting to see because if i i'll feel like i'll be confident in kpa if they can crack at least the top 4 i don't expect them to qualify right away but if they able to even qualify and get top 3 and grab at least one spot in a very competitive road to ball I'll feel much more comfortable especially when we make ball it'll be very huge for KPA because the last time we were very close was in 2019 and we don't know what happened we missed a game against um we missed a game against City Oilers and we lost it okay City Oilers have already made the BAL but you know it is what it is their performance wasn't that great but if you look at KPA right now they should shoot at least to get top 4 top 3 top 4 
minimum. If they're able to notch a spot, it can be very good, especially when it comes to exposure. Because when they match up against those teams, if you match up against, you know, any team is going to get into the BL. I know the BL came across close and Alali were able to win. If you're able to look at those games and be able to, like, get in there and be able to, like, perform in that moment, that's the much exposure that KP will have had so that they can be able to, like, you know, get to get to that continental stage but if you ask me i'll just i'll just you know take everything you know at face value and honestly i'll just wait to see kps performance i'm not gonna jinx anything because if i say something <laughs> it can, i don't want to you know say something and you know it doesn't stand the test of time but you know me in this channel we'll just say what it, how it is and call it the way it is but i'm con uh, congratulations to KB, kpa being the KBF champions and just just doing some great good basketball in there in Kenya but continental basketball is where they're supposed to be looking at and um, yeah man well done and uh man I'm so glad to talk about basketball I mean can't wait to touch down in Nairobi and uh, just continue you know giving them giving you guys some good content in there and um I'm out guys peace and also you could do as blow it up Blow everything up. I'm not even out yet. Ikushidumas, blow everything up. Even the women's team. You have to blow everything up and make sure to, you know, focus on a rebuild. Even if it means going back to Div 1. Because right now you've tried everything and nothing is happening. So um, I'm out. Peace.